Good afternoon, RHS. I'm Nyla. And I'm Janiyah. And this is Your Daily Dose for Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. Today is the last book club meeting of the school year. Any juniors, sophomores, or freshmen interested in testing out of anything for next year, you must see your counselor on or before May 10th to be eligible. Attention seniors, make sure you are constantly checking your email for important information and updates from Mr. Purdue. Prom ticket sales end Monday, May 6th. To buy your prom tickets, they are $80 and can be found in your student emails. Purchases are made using GoFan using your student ID as your access code. All underclassmen and outside guests need to complete a form to attend. Watch your emails for the next round of prom court voting, coming soon. Now let's go to Chase with sports. Thank you. Thank you, Nyla. On Tuesday, the boys and girls track teams faced off against Woodhaven, with the boys coming in first with 77 points and the girls coming in second with 42 points. They are back in action today at Carlson and tomorrow at Celine for the Golden Triangle Invitational. Girls tennis lost on Tuesday to Carlson 2-6. to six. They also face off against Southgate tomorrow at home at 4 p.m. Today, girls soccer faces off against Allen Park at 6 p.m. at home. Yesterday, the baseball and softball both faced off against Trenton, and that score is pending. They are in action again today at Garden City. That's all for today. Now back to the empty anchors. Thanks, Chase. Also for seniors, your books are wanted in the LMC. Please look at your email or the list outside the LMC. Please return any books that you are not using before the end of the school year. The list will be updated daily. There are only three weeks left. Remember, if books are not returned or paid for, grad tickets will be put on hold. If you have any questions or concerns, see Mrs. Curdy in the LMC. Last week, senior thrower Anya Tobe broke a 22-year-old discus record. Luke and Keegan talked to her about this amazing accomplishment. Good afternoon, RHS. I'm Luke Hale with YTV News. And did you know that last week, Anya Toboy broke the discus throwing record? Do you plan on throwing in college? Uh, yeah, I plan, at, I plan to throw at Bowling Green. How long have you been throwing discus? Uh, I've been throwing since freshman year. How did you prepare to beat this record? Um, well, I've been training a lot with a uh, coach over the winter, um, going to indoor meets, uh, going out to Madonna to practice indoors with a few other girls from around the area. So I've been kind of working at it, like really working indoor this year, which has been a huge help. Overall, the way she works, um, so she'll throw all day um, at practice and then come in the weight room after when everyone's gone and all that kind of stuff. She still tries to master her craft and get stronger um, for disc and all that kind of stuff. So I think... Um, that's probably the best trait that she has, just her overall, um, just, just overall work um, ethic. How did you feel after beating the school record? I was really excited. Um, my coach was excited. It's been a big goal of mine ever since freshman year. Um, so now I was super excited, super happy. Um, my goal was to do it in the beginning of the year, just to kind of get a basis down and just kind of not get out of the way, but just kind of get off the checklist. So it was pretty sweet. Did you know the record was reachable? Uh, yeah, I kind of knew since freshman year. Um, I threw far my first year, and I know I could kind of take this somewhere. Um, so, no, I for sure, for sure no, knew it was reachable. So, What was your first thought after breaking the record? Uh, almost kind of like a relief. I was kind of like, finally, you know, like it was about time. Um, it's been, that's been a 20, 22-year record, so it felt really good to take down. How are you planning on approaching the rest of the season since you broke the record? Um, well, my next goal is to make the Nationals mark, and I'm about, I'm about a foot away from that. Um, and then, yeah, just keep climbing up the ranks. Uh, I think I'm ranked like fifth in the state now, so my goal is to just get the number one. Congratulations, Anya Toboy, for being the first person to break the school record in over 20 years. Now back to Anchors. Congrats, Anya. Good luck on chasing that top spot in the state. Anyone interested in being part of Color Guard next year, there will be clinics on Tuesdays and Thursdays from now until May 21st from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Commons. Come dress for movement and with a positive mindset. No experience is necessary, so come check it out. Mother's Day is May 12th, and Teddy's is hosting a sale at the RHS Greenhouse on Saturday, May 11th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Botany will be selling spring flowers, including hanging baskets, porch planters, pollinator plants, and house plants. Wyandotte Tees will be there to sell Wyandotte apparel. Our students will be there selling student-created candles, jewelry, paintings, and clay art. And the Kikoa coffee truck will be there. Come out for this event and feel free to bring your mom. On Saturday, May 11th, Ravasi is celebrating 50 years of making music with a 7 p.m. concert here at RHS. Also, beginning at 5.30 that night, there will be an unveiling of the mural restor restoration project that has been taking place for over a year in the auditorium. 
The concert will include current students and alumni performances, as well as a unified fashion show. To stay updated on all school news, make sure to follow us on Instagram at wine.television. That's all for today, RA 